properties of ionic compounds. First, let's take an ionic compound like sodium chloride or the common table salt and test its properties. Now, take some sodium chloride in your hands. What do we observe? We observe that salt is a solid and it's somewhat hard because of the strong force of attraction between the positive and negative ions. Salt is brittle and breaks into pieces when pressure is applied. Now, heat this sample of salt. What do we observe? We observe that salt takes a lot of time to melt. This means that ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points. Now, why is that? It is because of strong inter-ionic attraction between the particles in ionic compounds. Now, take two transparent beakers. Pour water into one and an oil in another. Sprinkle salt in both of these beakers. What do we observe? We observe that the salt is soluble in water and is insoluble in the oil. And last but not the least, let's test the conductivity of salt solution. For that, we have to do some preparations as shown. Then, we will notice that the bulb glows. Now that is because ions in the ionic compounds move freely and conduct electricity on their own.